Have you ever caught yourself saying, I'll just do it tomorrow? Yeah, we've all been there. But what if I told you that procrastination isn't just about being lazy, it's actually a survival tactic your brain uses. And more importantly, there's a way to beat it backed up by science. Stay with me for the next few minutes because by the end of this video, you're going to know exactly how to stop procrastinating for good. Hey everyone, I'm Shar and you are locked into Mogul Magazine. Today we are talking about how to stop procrastinating. First things first, procrastination isn't your fault. According to research, it's about the brain's wiring. Our brains are hardwired to avoid discomfort. And when tasks feels overwhelming or boring, the brain's immediate reaction is to avoid it. Cue procrastination. In fact, studies from the University of Colorado suggest that procrastination is tied to our fear of failure or perfectionism. Our brains want to keep us safe from failure, so it tricks us into thinking that I'll just do it later. Crazy, right? Okay, so how do we stop it? One of my favourite strategies is called the five minute rule. It's simple. Tell yourself you're only going to work on the task for five minutes. Why does this work? Well, studies show that starting is the hardest part. Once you get into it, you're way more likely to keep going. I do this every time I feel overwhelmed. I tell myself just five minutes. And guess what? I usually end up working for 30 minutes or even an hour. It's all about tricking your brain into thinking it's not a big deal. Break tasks down. Break big tasks down into smaller, more manageable chunks. Psychologists call this chunking. The smaller the task, the less intimidating it feels and the more likely you are to tackle it. Take that 20 page report and turn it into write the introduction. Do research for one section and so on. I mean, writing a whole report feels like climbing Mount Everest, but writing just the intro, that's more like climbing the stairs to my office. Another great tip reward yourself. Dopamine, the brain's feel-good hormone, is your secret weapon here. Studies show that when we reward ourselves, it strengthens the habit of taking action. So give yourself a reward after completing each chunk of work. A cup of coffee, tea, a quick break or even a sneaky chocolate. Here's another secret. Your environment matters. A messy workspace or too many distractions can kill your focus. And let's talk about accountability. Share your goals with a friend or co-worker and set a deadline. A study from the American Psychological Association found that people are 65% more likely to achieve a goal if they share it with someone else. And that number jumps to 95% when you have regular check-ins with an accountability partner. So who's your accountability partner? Let me know in the comments below. The truth is, beating procrastination doesn't happen overnight. But by understanding your brain and using strategies like the five minute rule, chunking tasks, rewarding yourself and getting an accountability partner, you are already miles ahead. Now it's time for you to take action. What's the one thing you've been putting off? Let me know in the comments and use the five minute rule to get started today. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell because you won't want to miss what I have coming up next. Thank you for watching. It's your girl Shar. You are locked into Mogul Magazine and we'll see you next time.